Hey guys, my name is Rafi Alcacera, and today will be the first day of many to come of my new web development screencast, weekly screencast, where I teach you a new web development trick every week. Uh, bear with me in the first couple of videos for the buts and ums that may come. I will get through them. I'm kind of nervous of teaching people at first, but I'll get comfortable with this as time goes by. Uh, what I'm going to do really is teach you guys how to use PHP or MySQL to create simple little fast websites that you can sell and make some money online uh, using SitePoint or eBay or similar type of auction websites. Before you get started developing though, you will need a local testing and development environment and since I'm on Mac, I'm going to show you guys today how to install MAMP. I'm sure that the steps are similar if you find a package for Windows, it's going to be called WAMP or if you're on Linux, it's going to call LAMP. Um, what you're going to do at first is you're going to go to mamp.info since their website seems to be down right now you're going to go to Google as soon as Google loads up you're going to type in mamp mirrors and then you're going to go ahead and download to make this process a bit quicker I've included a download link in the video description, so click on that link to check it out. Um, once the file is done being downloaded, go ahead and open up the DMG. Agree to the license agreement. If you want to, you can read all of it. And once the DMG, the, the disk image is opened, go ahead and drag and drop out the, the MAMP folder, not the MAMP Pro, unless you've already paid for this. Go ahead and drag the MAMP folder to your applications. Once that's done, go ahead and open up your applications folder. Scroll down till you find MAMP. And go ahead and open up the MAMP application file. We're going to go ahead and launch MAMP. And see, it opens up Firefox here automatically for you to tell you that your local service is running. So, what we're going to do here, actually, is we're going to stop the servers, and uh, let's just wait till Apache closes, and we're going to go down to Preferences. You can set the start page URL. I'm going to leave it on map because it gives us the MySQL information, all of that nifty stuff. And let me see exactly where I can find the HTML directions. Okay, so we're going to change this document root to HTML here at the end. We're going to go ahead and press OK. What we're going to do now, we're going to go back to the MAMP folder, create a new folder called HTML. And just to make sure that everything works, let's create a folder inside of the HTML. And let's create a new folder here. Oh, wow. Hold on. Uh, new folder called hello world to test to see if this really works we're gonna start our servers again Firefox window should be up here it is and we're gonna go ahead to just just local host on whatever port you selected and here it is our hello world folder is here so this means that everything has worked Let's test out PHP. I'm going to open up my favorite web development software, which is Coda. I'm going to go into the MAMP directory, HTML, hello world. Let's create a file called index.php. And just to make sure that PHP is installed, we're going to ask PHP to display the PHP info. I'm going to go ahead and save that back to the localhost hello world directory refresh the page and here we get our PHP installation configuration so here it is PHP is installed successfully running um, to test out my SQL all I have to do I say my SQL some people say my SQL doesn't matter um, to test out my SQL we can 
go ahead and click on the PHP my admin I got to this page by going to the local host the port number that I selected map folder and here it is PHP my admin and here it is it is running and so we have PHP MySQL and Apache all running very easily for us all we have to do is pretty much download map and extract the folder into our applications folder to uninstall MAMP, let's say that you thought web development was really hard or that you didn't find it to be one of the things you love to do, you can just quit MAMP at any time. Let's wait till my MySQL server is done. Okay. Go back to your applications and just delete the MAMP folder. This will completely erase MAMP, uh, the whole installation from your system then it's nice if you restart you don't have to but it would be nice and it's already uninstalled for you um, what I'm going to be using every week is Coda it costs ninety nine dollars at panic.com forward slash Coda you can download a free two week trial I believe um, it's an amazing piece of web development software I definitely recommend buying it if you can if you're going to use it um, there are other Mac alternatives to Coda such as Espresso I don't recommend it yet because it's brand new they still have to uh, fix a few bugs here so the interface is very very nice though but you're gonna have to wait a little bit until they can actually make it usable so my favorite one is Coda but that's it next week uh, we'll be looking at how to make a Twitter auto follower like you supply a few keywords and it automatically follow people based on those keywords so stay tuned the new video should be up every Sunday night or Monday night yeah I think Monday night every Monday night there will be a new video up this is Rafael Cassetta you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Rafael Cassetta I'll definitely follow you guys back. And um, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a good day.